just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. <laughs> Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So I've been doing some Christmas shopping online and I noticed that the uh, Doctor Who and the Daleks uh, colourised special, which is on, um, I think, BBC Four on the 23rd of November, is uh, is now available for pre-order. Now, obviously, it's <laughs> obviously it's available for, for pre-order with uh, Amazon as well, but I don't buy anything from Amazon. And I've, I've got another example of them completely messing up and their customer service team in India being absolutely awful. South Africa was all right, but this is not something I ordered. It's something my wife ordered, a Christmas present for my son. But I mean, oh, I just I hate Amazon so much. But HMV, I've never had any issues with HMV. I think they're great. I was just, I was just on there looking at some Christmas presents. And uh, yeah, I saw, I saw it on there. Now, initially... I wasn't, well, who cares what I think, but I wasn't that keen for the um, Doctor Who and the Daleks to be recoloured. Well, purely because I'd seen um, colourisations in the past. I remember seeing um, on the news years ago that they were going to recolourise Laurel and Hardy. And um, I thought it looked awful. And also, I'm a big... um, I'm a big fan of uh, A Christmas Carol uh, and Scrooge. I, I just love the story and I love the the um, the different versions. I love the books, Charles Dickens. And I remember the uh, Alistair Sims version, which I think is from 1951. It's not my favourite version, but I like black and white films. I like black and white television. I, I find it quite cosy and soothing. It's 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 off the time. I'd... I, I love it. I, I grew up on old black and white shows like Flash Gordon and things like that. So when I when um, I saw that they colourised um, A Christmas Carol with Alistair Sims and George Cole, I just thought it was awful. And I, and I know that Channel 5 still show it now and again. And it just looks terrible. It's just pink, green and brown. So, so that's why I was initially put off by this... Uh, by this news, I wasn't in favour of it, but um, but now that I've looked into this episode in more detail, and the fact that they've they've edited it into seventy five minutes, and it's going to be shown on the twenty third of November, the anniversary, it makes it all that more special. And I can understand them doing it for a new audience. So I did I did a bit of um, a bit of research of colorizing movies. With the latest technology uh, on Wikipedia, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it is all state of the art now. So I am now looking forward to seeing what they've done, and I'm I'm really looking forward to watching the episode on um, on the twenty third of November. I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to it, honestly, because it's one of my favourite episodes. I didn't see the Doctor Who and the Daleks. Well, I'd obviously, I'd, I had the book, I had the Target book when I was younger, so I'd read the book. I'd seen the Peter Cushion movies on television. The first time I saw it, I actually watched it on the black and white portable, uh, which was in the, our dining room back in the 80s, because I assumed it was in black and white, because it was from the 60s. So, um, you know, and it, it was all new to me. I'd never seen Peter Cushion as the Doctor before. I absolutely loved it, especially the big... The big um, lights on the on the um on the dalek domes i just thought it looked amazing and i I found it quite frightening if i'm honest so i'm looking forward to this um let's be honest you're not going to get a doctor who the collection series one well you will do you'll get it for for shooty gatwa but you won't get it for william hartnell because of the uh um the issues with uh an unearthly child which is a big shame so I've sort of stepped back from the DVDs because you get it, you get everything and more with the Doctor Who the collection. So um, I'll, I'm definitely gonna um, pick this up at some point. Uh, it's, it's available for pre-order, and um, it's due out I think in February next year. But 
I do like the old 60s Daleks and I do like the fact that you'll actually be able to see them in the flesh in, you know, with their silver and blue um, paint jobs. So, um, yeah, I'm, I am really happy about this. I've changed my mind about it being, um, being colourised. If, for, for reading up on it as well, it's all professional. It's all been done. And I, yeah, I don't know for sure. I think this is all RTD. He's doing a fantastic job, as always. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be ordering this. But I literally, I only just saw it today. Um, I think it was revealed yesterday that it was going to be released um, on. I think it's DVD, um, Blu-ray. And also like a still book. Thing is, I don't even know what a still book is. <laughs> what? I've seen them in C- I went to CEX again yesterday when I was in St. Evanage. Um <laughs> what the what the hell is a, what is the hell is a still book for? I, d- I really don't know. But um <laughs> let me know in the comments below. But I'll 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 definitely be ordering this. I think the still book is twenty nine ninety nine. But I'll definitely be ordering this uh, on Blu-ray, which I think is nineteen ninety nine, I believe. Um, because I love the story. I mean, I I first saw the story uh, in the uh, 90s when the uh, double uh, video became available. And I've st- as I've mentioned before, I've still got all of my Doctor Who videos on my shelf in the toy room. So, yeah, well, looking forward to this, but I thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. It also helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.